me to help with something and uh, I'm going to look into it and if it's worth sharing uh, to my social network then I'm going to do that. Uh, no special skills required. I'll show you that in a minute. But this somebody uh, asked me to take a look at because it was the water supply uh, in Flint and then so we see this video and I'll show you this is just a quick 12 seconds. Okay, and I don't think you guys heard the sound, the commentary. They were amazed that all this water is coming up on the ground. Well, I've seen this all the way uh, since I was a kid. You know, this is just a simple water break, and it looks very horrific because it's blowing sand and dirt and silt up, and, and, it, and it can, you know, leave you in awe, wondering what's going on. And really, it's just a simple break that can be fixed very quickly. But because... The video is so short, and I don't really know what's going on here. Google search, real quick. No special skills, folks. I'm not a hero, and I don't see anything about the water main break except for they're having a big problem in Flint with many water main breaks. The pipes are old, and so I searched a little deeper and find out that the city of Flint is poisoning their children with lead. Yes, you can see this is from uh, the 24th. Earlier today, doctors from the Hurley Medical Center presented findings of rise in blood lead levels of children less than five years old living uh, within Flint zip codes 48501 uh, to 48507 after the switch to Flint River water as the source. That doesn't sound good to me at all. And I have never done any research into what's in the river, but evidently there's uh, quite a bit of lead. Um, let's see. First, we wanted to test some homes ourselves because a surprising number of people have been asking us, how do we know Flint residents are not putting lead into uh, water sample bottles? Uh, so this, this tells you how they uh, derived at this. Uh, but this is, I'm going to link you to this. You guys in Flint need to know about this. I'm not going to read it all to you um, right now, but I will link you to this post below. If you live in Flint, Michigan, you, you need to do something to not drink the water. And, and I'm not going to necessarily recommend bottled water because there's toxins in there, and when you're buying the bottled water, you're supporting corporate criminals like Nestle, etc. So I'm going to leave that up to you. The link to this will be below. And uh, if you have any other information, you know, that you want to add to this, just leave it in the comments. And again, folks, remember, I'm here for you guys. Uh, I give a lot of time for this. And it's because, well, nobody else is doing it. Where can you go and ask somebody for help that they just get right on it? So I hope you all appreciate that. Visit the website, poke around a little bit, and, um, well, above all, always expect me. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon. Okay, folks, back with you quickly just to give you some uh, really important knowledge that a uh, City of Flint Twitter account shared with me very relative to the lead. You can see this post. Uh, Do not drink your tap water. The lead is coming for your plumbing and fixtures due to the change in corrosive chemistry of the treated Flint River water. The change from stable Detroit water to the over-treated Flint River water is causing the metals to leach into the drinking water. Uh, this is a dangerous level. This makes very much sense to me also uh, because Older plumbing, uh, water mains, that stuff, they, they were done with, with a system called lead and oakum. Um, and, the, and the lead uh, is all throughout all the piping. So having a corrosive water in there eating away at these old pipes, which we know are breaking all over the city, um, yeah, uh, the only way to get rid of this is really uh, 
you know, one, stop using corrosive water, but even at that, you're still going to have lead in your water. So you, you basically got to rip out all the plumbing and put new stuff in uh, that doesn't have lead in it. Uh, this is going to go on forever. Much love to the city of Flint, you guys. Keep up with their Twitter account because uh, I'm watching the world. They're watching Flint. And if you live in Flint, Michigan, this is going to be a great source for information that affects your town. Much love. Many thanks. And I'll see you soon. And you've got to put your body upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the